Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This particular one, it's an ASUS X541N version. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can boost up, boost up the performance and the speed for your laptop. As we know, the RAMs are not upgradable on this version, nor is the processor. The only thing is upgradable and is really beneficial is the hard drive. You can replace the mechanical hard drive that you have in here with a solid state drive. Any solid state drive, which is 2.5 inch, you can go up to one or two terabyte, doesn't matter, this, the storage. I'll leave the link in the description and it's gonna really boost up your performance and just before we start you might want to know two things once you replace the hard drive the new hard drive is not going to have any system, operating system or any files in it so you have two choices either install the new drive uh, new windows on the new drive by using a usb stick and going to the microsoft website downloading windows media creator and it will burn the Windows image inside the USB and you can simply plug it in, power on the laptop and boot up from the USB and freshly install Windows 10 on your new drive. Or if you don't want to go through this whole hassle, you can go ahead and buy yourself two adapters or one adapter with a, which is a SATA to a USB adapter. So you can simply grab the adapter, plug into your SSD drive and and plug it to your computer and download the program that I'll leave the link in the description is a cloning program you can install the cloning program and you can clone your main drive that we has windows and all your files into an SSD drive and once you clone it up you can just plug it in and you have the same windows same files but much faster right but RF, sometimes the cloning not always goes well Sometimes you get blue screen of dead, crashes, this and that, then you have no other choice than reinstalling the windows. But if you want, go ahead, do a cloning first, and then if it didn't work for you guys, do a freshly installed windows. All right, then let's get it started. Let's say you cloned it up, and you wanna, or you wanna upgrade their hard drive. So the tools that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set, I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdriver out there. And we're gonna use Philips number zero from this tool set. Also, you will need an opening tool. I use the guitar pick for my opening tool, which is a metallic guitar pick with a soft edges, really tough. All right, first thing first, make sure your laptop is powered off completely. Flip it upside down and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. There is a two types of screws, short ones and the longest one. The short screws are on the bottom front end of the laptop, so it's one, two, three, four screws. These are the short ones and the mid towards the back are the longest one. Go ahead and remove the screws. Keep them separated so you know which ones are which because there's a difference about one millimeter. Also, I see only a few of my viewers subscribe to my channel. It really, really great help and support if you guys could subscribe and click like if you find my videos useful. Also, if the screw is not coming up, use that tiny magnet to pull them out. Or you can magnetize the tip of your screw. Once we remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop in 45 or 60 degree angle. And you want to grab your opening tool, in this case a guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the bottom and the top cover. Just stick it there about two millimeters or three millimeters inward. And now what you want to do, you just want to twist it and you hear those clicks. Go work yourself all the way to the corners. Go to the same thing on the sides. Just work it around, go all the way to the back. Make sure this top cover doesn't fall, so put your finger right underneath so it doesn't fall, so you're supporting it. Alright, uh, once you get to the back corner by the hinges, what you want to do, you want to flip it in a normal position. Now, I'm going to put my palm here in the corner so it doesn't lift up, so I'm going to grab with my finger. I'm going to push on this one with my thumb. I'm going to lift up the top cover slowly, just wiggle it around, it will come out. Don't lift up more, just 
this much and let it go. Now we can lift it up by about one centimeter and move it towards the left side. As long as you see this speaker aligns with by the border right here. I'm gonna explain it why in a second. Now you can go ahead and lift up a little bit slowly and you're gonna see this two flex cable. This is what we don't wanna uh, damage. So to unhook this flex cable for the keyboard, uh, what we need to do, we need to put our fingers on the back by this black cover and lift it up 90 degrees, just like that. You see, it was like this. You put it and it goes facing upward 90 degrees. Now you can slide out the flex cable for the screen, for the keyboard. Same thing for the trackpad. Put your finger at the back and lift up this cover and slide out the flex cable. The reason that we move it to this side, so we have more room to work around with the flex cable. Otherwise, you won't be able to work with uh, remove it. You will be able to damage your contact or your flex cable. All right, once we are down here, you can see it's really dirty. I'll make a video on how to clean it up. But let's concentrate on the hard drive right now. The mecha mechanical drive is right over here. It's a Seagate 500 gigabyte. To remove this one, there's only one screw that holds it in place. So remove this screw right here. Also, you do not need to remove the battery to do this. It's absolutely unnecessary. Once you remove this screw, grab it from here and slide it towards this, this end of the laptop. Just like that. And you're gonna see a gap opening right here. Once you see the gap opening right there, you wanna just go ahead and lift up the hard drive. Now this drive comes with a caddy on top. So there's a caddy that holds the drive in place. We need this caddy to change it and put the new drive in here. So first thing, one thing we need to pay attention and be very careful with the contact position. So the SATA connection is in this side, SATA on this side, the power and the power. So you don't want to put it this way around. Otherwise it's not going to match the contact and it's not going to go through. So always make sure. So we know that for a fact that it has to be face up. So don't put it face down. Now we need to remove the caddy. There's two screws on this side and two screws on the other side. Go ahead and remove these two, four screws in total. All right, now once you remove the screws, you can go ahead and, for this ones, they use a foil tape right here. You can just cut this foil tape, but it has an adhesive. Just grab a cutter right there and cut this aluminum tape right there. And on the edges, right all along. So you do not need this aluminum tape. So put that on one side and grab your SSD drive, place it in. Once you place it in, the screw holes will not match uh, because it has to be this way around. Once you put it in a correct position, because the profile for the SSD is lower, the screw holes don't match. So you have to pull it a little backward. So make sure the screw holes match and then place the screws right there. So you wanna have a little more gap on this side. That's fine. All right, once you have the caddy in place, bring it down with an offset position and then slide it towards the motherboard. Once you have this installed, make sure the screw holes align and put the screw that holds the caddy with the board. And there we have it. We're almost done. Now we're gonna grab the keyboard and we make sure we put it in the same position. Make sure the speaker on the left side aligns with the hinge. And you wanna bring it in 45 degree angle. Make sure the lock for the keyboard is open. Grab the flex cable and it slide it right underneath. Make sure it's evenly there and with the other finger just close the lock at the back. The same thing with the trackpad. Slide it right underneath. and close it down. Now we can open up the laptop, lift up a little bit and move it on the side, align it. And now we're gonna pinch corners, pinch the back, mid, make sure you hear those nice loud sound, pinch the sides and the front end, you can just go ahead and with two fingers, start pinching them. Pretty much we are done here. And the last thing would be to flip it over and place the screws on the bottom cover. Remember four screws on the front end and the rest, the long ones made towards the back. Again, I hope you liked this video and helped you guys out to replace and upgrade your hard drive to an SSD drive.
or to a bigger mechanical drive. If you guys liked it and helped you guys out, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. It really helps and support the channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.